Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? Now, what we have here, we can write this x times x times x as x raised to power 3 minus x times x. We have x squared then equals to 100 from here. The next step, we take 100 to the left hand side. We have x raised to power 3 minus x squared. A minus 100 then equals to 0 here. Next step here, we can write 100 as 125 minus 25. Then what we have here becomes x raised to power 3 minus x squared and minus into brackets 125 minus 25 close brackets equals to 0 here. Then here, minus open these brackets. Now we have x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 2 minus 125 then plus 25 equals to 0 here. Which implies we can write 125 here as 5 times 5 times 5 which is 5 raised to power 3 and also 25 as 5 times 5 which is 5 squared. Then what we have here becomes x raised to power 3 minus x squared. Then minus 5 raised to power 3 plus 5 squared equals to 0 here. Then when we rearrange, we bring the power of 3 together. We have x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3. Also the power of 2 together minus x raised to power 2 plus 5 raised to power 2. Then equals to 0 here. Then you can write this as x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 into brackets. The minus common here we have minus into brackets x raised to power 2 minus 5 raised to power 2 close brackets equals to 0 here. Then, yeah, this first bracket follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3. We can write this as a minus b into brackets. The open bracket a square plus a b plus b square. And also the second bracket a follows when we have a square minus b square. Yeah, we can write this as a minus b into brackets. Then also into bracket a plus b. Then we can rewrite what we have here, and this becomes x minus 5 into bracket, open bracket, x square plus 5x plus 5 square, close bracket, then minus, this becomes into bracket x minus 5, also into bracket x plus 5, close bracket, then equals to 0 here. Then here we have x minus 5 comma. Factor it out we have x minus 5 into brackets. Also open brackets. Here we have x square plus 5x plus 5 square. That's 25. Then here we are left with minus into brackets. x plus 5. Then close brackets. Close these brackets. Which is equals to 0 here. Then. From here, minus open this bracket. We have x minus 5 into brackets. Then open bracket x square plus 5x plus 25. And we have minus x minus 5 close bracket equals to 0 here. Then, next step here, we have x minus 5 into brackets. Then open brackets. This becomes x squared. 5x minus x, we have plus 4x, then plus 25 minus 5, that's 20, plus brackets, equals to 0 here. At this here, we have two possible cases. The first one, x minus 5, equals to 0, or we have x squared plus 4x plus 20, equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, we have x equals to 5, which is a real solution here. Then here we have a quadratic equation, where a equals to 1, 
B equals to 4 and C equals to 20. Then apply the quadratic formula. We have x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. And this here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 all over 2 times 1. At this here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square 4 times 4 that's 16 minus 4 times 1 times 20 that's 80 then over 2. And this same thing as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80, we have minus 64 all over 2, and which also can be written as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 over 2. And from what we have root a times b, we can write this as root a times root b. At this here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 over 2 which implies we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 that's 8 and root minus 1 is i over 2 and from here here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2. For this we have x equals to minus 4 over 2 that's minus 2 plus or minus 8i over 2 that's 4i. For this we have two complex solutions here and therefore all together we have three solutions here. For this one real solution and two complex solutions. When we write it out, we can say we have x1 equals to 5 with the real solution and x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4 high. And also x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4 high. Three solutions together here. One real and two complex solutions. Now, we can check if this satisfies this given problem. When we substitute x equals to 5 here, what we have becomes 5 times 5 times 5 minus 5 times 5 is it equals to 100 on this side. And 5 times 5 times 5, of course, that's 125 minus 5 times 5, 25. Is it equals to 100 on this side? And 125 minus 25, that's 100, which is equals to 100 from here. That is left hand side equals to the right hand side, and therefore that's equals to five satisfy this given problem. In the same way, these two other complex solutions too will satisfy. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.